Ladies and gentlemen of the media, good morning. I've invited you this morning to my office to deal with a very important matter and wish to state the facts and put it to rest once and for all. In 2011, I was the subject of libel and slanderous statements that were made by Mr. Tony Vera, which was broadcasted on CN Sharma Television, TV6, of which I have filed actions against them in the High Court for libel. To my amazement, this morning, having received a number of calls and have read the newspapers myself, I see in the Kaicho News a publication of the very same statements that I was the subject of a name change, having been involved supposedly with someone who died and the accusation was basically death, that I killed a man and I changed my name. For the record, I present to the nation of Guyana my board certificate. Original board certificate. I was born on the 25th of December 1964 and was given the name Juan Anthony Edgehill. Copies of this I am prepared to give to every media house at the end of this conference. And if I was born as Juan Anthony Edgehill, I could not have had a name change when I am known up until today as Juan Anthony Edgehill. I would appreciate if every Guyanese could give respect to the fact that like so many other Guyanese, I was born in a home where my parents were not married. So from birth, I had to assume the name of my mother, whose name is Juanita Edgil, as you will see on this document. I've never used any other name have never been called by any other name, and all my life I have been known as one Anthony Edgel. The second thing that I would want to state is that at no time at all in my life have I ever been accused of, charged with, or associated with the death, murder, manslaughter, or any such thing of anyone. I've always lived my life in keeping with my faith and belief and Christian principles. These facts can be easily verified. And as investigative journalists, I'll put you on a trail so you can go and find out. I attended Graham's Hall Primary School. I attended the Commons Lodge Secondary School, where I wrote my GC. At the age of 18 years, I entered into training to become a minister of religion at the Hararuni Full Gospel Bible School. I've been pastoring since I'm 21 years of age. I've pastored at the Stanley Tom Full Gospel Fellowship Church. I work as the administrator of the Full Gospel Fellowship Assembly in Guyana. And I have been leading the Winners Cathedral Outreach Ministries International since 1990 November. So you can check at all of these places to see all the persons who are associated with me, if I've ever been charged, if I've ever murdered anyone, if I've ever been associated with anything of murder or killing of anyone. I have lived, I was born at 14 Forest Street Commons Lodge. I lived with my mother at 60 Prince William Street, Pleasance. I, was, I am married for 29 years to the same person 
Joan Anita Edgil. I lived, my matrimonial home was at 250 South Road and Albert Street, sorry, 250 South Road and Ornuck Street, Georgetown. Colleagues, I find it to be offensive, derogatory, malicious, wicked, vindictive, and, a and it is designed to distort, to defame, and to ridicule me because of my political affiliation and association. I call upon the Kaichou News today, like I did before I took legal action against Mr. Tony Vera and Mr. C.N. Sharma in 2011. I called upon them and I wrote asking for them to withdraw those statements and their refusal has led to me having to file action against them in the court of law. Today I'm not just merely calling upon Kaichou News to retract this story, but I'm also presenting to the public once and for all my board certificate and if this is not sufficient I don't know what is sufficient and I'm inquiring and encouraging all of you as journalists to inquire with the police the prisons all of my associates in ministry the church if I've ever been associated with murder accused of murder charged with murder and if I've ever gone through a name change. This lie must be debunked and it must not be allowed to continue to be peddled because my belief is he who steals your purse steals nothing. But a good name is to be chosen rather than riches. If I lose all of my jewelry, somebody can give it back to me. But when you defame my name, it's gone. And I will always defend my name and reputation. And I call upon Kaicho News as I produce the public evidence. I was born one Anthony Edgil, 25th of December, 1964, and have never been subject to a name change. I thank you very much. Could you say this is the first time you're hearing about this? If no, when was the first time you're hearing about this? 2011, and I sued Mr. Vera and Mr. C.N. Sharma for a commentary, and it is now the matter of a court case. Mr. Adjo, if um, it works, Capital News, is this, uh, when was this court certificate issued, and do you have the original? This is the original, sir. This is the original. That's our original board. This is an original board certificate. This is an original board certificate. I was born in 1986, sir. That's what I'm asking. And I have one of the Date of issue? 1989-04-12. Any other questions? I'm dealing with this matter this morning. I'm dealing with this matter. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like to have copies, I could have my secretary make copies and give to all of you who so desire.